Hello, hello, hello. It's the one and only Lady Sandy Barker. And today is my grand my granddaughter, Lordy Mercy No. Today is my daughter's birthday. She's forty seven and she's an amazing woman. Work every day. And I live with her in her house. And today is her birthday. So this weekend I'm going to babysit the cats. And she's going to go on for with her fiancé on a, a weekend. And and I gave her a little present already. And she was happy about it. And later on we're going to go have dinner at her fiancé's house. And can't believe she's still here. She's a cancer survivor. And well, and COVID, <laughs> so we survived COVID, oh my God, I can't believe it, got both my shots, I'm going to go see my sister soon, got my, got my cruise control fixed, check this out, I went to Kia in Woodbridge and bought a Kia, which I don't have the title to yet, even though we paid it off in November, wasn't supposed to be paid off till February, and so... I'm not happy about that. Anyways, they quoted me $300 for oil change and tune-up. $300 for oil change and tune-up. Can you believe that? I couldn't. I said, you must be out your freaking mind if you think I'm going to pay that. Because when I bought the car, I bought the, I bought the um, plan with it. And then at 60,000 miles, I said, oh, by the way, your plan is no longer good. But they kept taking money out. <laughs> so I said, well, I ain't happy with this situation here that's what you called read the fine print and i was old um anyways i decided i'd go and look for another place so i called hometown auto and tire and they did work on uh kids so i asked them to price me what it would cost for oil change of tune when they priced me i go are you serious they go yeah I go, well, how much would it cost to get my cruise control fixed? And they said, well, bring it in for, we'll, you know, put it on the, on the rack and do the anal, anal, analyzing of, of it all and, and see, you know, what needs because it's due for inspection pretty soon. I want to make sure it passes. So they checked everything out. Everything's good. And they replaced my um, cruise control. Guess what it cost me? A total of uh, 277 something <laughs> and they wanted three hundred dollars for or change and tune up so i've got a i've got a or change tune up cruise control fixed and they checked the whole car out and replaced the fluids and all that stuff for that that amount guess where i'm going for my next or change and tune up hometown auto on woodbridge and like i told them now on my first YouTube video I mentioned them for free and I recommend them for free and after that we'll have to talk You know if I write a jingle or something for them or whatever, but I don't see if they're doing people this well They probably won't have no trouble getting no customers in there And so they were very well uh, Service people they were masked and they followed the protocol and they had a shuttle which and I was lucked out I lucked out my granddaughter just bought a house of less than 15 miles from where they were at. So I got a shuttle and I got to spend time with my granddaughters while I was getting my car fixed. And I'm a happy camper. The day's my daughter's birthday. And whew, had a rough time having her, but Lord, she's beautiful. And she was born, oh, she was so beautiful. She had these little chubby cheeks and everybody wanted to pinch her chubby cheeks. And I couldn't let them pinch her chubby cheeks. Leave my cheeks alone. My baby's cheeks, leave her alone. <laughs> It's beautiful though, beautiful still is. She don't look forty seven. Oh my God, she looks young, like a, almost like a teenager. And I'm old. Oh my God, I'm seventy. I'll be seventy one soon, not too far away. Woo! <laughs> but my hair's growing, so who knows? I may live long enough to donate again. If I do, guess where it's going? Ohio. Wigs for kids with cancer in Ohio. Yes. Alrighty, I'm just going to check out. I just wanted to give a shout out to Hometown Auto in Woodridge, Virginia. Um, 
great prices, great service. My car runs like a, a newborn kitten, purrs like a baby. Ooh, it's nice. And got, got some get up and go since I got the war change and tune up. Oh, yes, it's all good to go. Tires are good, brakes are good, everything's good. So I'm ready to go. My cruise control works. I tried it out. <laughs> I'm ready to go, but I won't be able to leave till four because I'm babysitting the cats. But that's okay. I'll, I'll manage. I got my laundry to do anyway. Got some things I have to take care of first. Get my taxes together so I can call my sister Lama and hook up with her while I'm down there. Stay until Mother's Day and go meet her. Yep. Get my taxes done. Get that out of the way. And then after that, well, got some other business to take care of too while I'm down there. I don't know how it's going to work out. We'll see. We shall see. But anyways, I'm going to visit Kathy and swing on down to Pike County and visit my sister Vaughn. And then I'm going to head out to Grace's. And from there, I'll hook up with Loma, I guess. I don't know if Loma's coming to Kentucky first or going to Hurley first. But I have to hook up with her somewhere and give her my tax stuff. And if I'm real smart, before Loma gets there, I'm... Mother's Day, I'll get a, buy me a cheap, one of those things you add stuff up, and I add stuff up, and have it more organized for her this time. She says I'm so disorganized, she don't like doing my taxes, I'm disorganized. I'm going to try this year to be more organized. Um, that's what I'm going to try to do. But anyways, I hope my son comes to Angel's birthday dinner tonight. And so I know, wouldn't it be nice if everybody showed up and I could get a family photo? I don't know. I think I'll message him and see if he's coming for dinner. Alrighty, I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all have a great week and weekend and all that good stuff. And prayers and peace be into you. If you don't believe in prayers and peace, how about some good thoughts? Positive energy. Spread it. Spread the love. One and only, lady. Sandy Barker.